today I've got one of our very special young players, Russell Packer. Now, Rusty, you're with us today, mate. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, full name, Russell Jade Packer. Uh, date of birth, 9th of the 10th, 1989, and uh, from a nice little coastal town in the about midway point of the North Island called Foxton. So, Rusty, you first came to the Warriors when, and how did you find out? What did you do to actually get to the Warriors? I'm just playing in the National Barter Card Comp, got a contract through that, and came up at the end of 2006 in October, moved into a house with, along with my brother who also came up and a few other guys outside of Auckland and been up here ever since then. And how did you find the training, mate? The uh, the big shock to the NRL, obviously you came into the squad and you, you sort of did the training that the boys do and you're hanging out with the boys just as uh, as uh, you're an NRL player straight up. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky enough to um, get one of the super elite spots. Um, five of us got them in 2007 and you know, straight into NRL training. Uh, body took a while to adapt to it, it was a bit, bit harder than the Central Falcons uh, pre-season, but uh, no, nah, it was good. There was a lot of expectation on Russell Packer going into season 2008. How did you handle that and what were you looking forward to? What were your goals for 2008? Uh, my goal at the start of the year was just to play five NRL games. Have I, have I got that under my belt? I was, thought I would have been doing all right for... Yeah, for this year. A couple of old blokes get injured in the front row stocks. Um, Russell Packer's name gets bandied around to get a start. All of a sudden you get a phone call or, a, you know, Ivan Cleary comes up to you and says, Russell, I'm going to start with you or put you in the 17 this week. It's pretty exciting, though, to get, get that call and say, you know, are you ready to play first grade? And I was asked me and I just said, yeah, oh, well, I think I am. So, you know, I'll do my best out there. And, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty satisfying moment, actually. Then we get to game day. You've got the whole of Foxton coming to Mount Smart Stadium to see you play your first game. I think if anyone wanted to steal anything from Foxton, that was the day. The whole town was here. Very exciting for you personally, your family. Um, you dreamt of it your whole life to actually know that you're going to be running out on the field. How was your day? You were nervous, excited. What was your feeling? Yeah, it was pretty satisfying. 40 tickets we got for the game, so that's how many of my family were here, and about half of them were came over to my house before the game and said, you know, some congratulations and good luck with the day. So obviously, if it wasn't for them, I don't think I'd be here today. Dad and Mum taking us to all those games and trainings, waiting for us afterwards and stuff. So and a few older guys told you some things not to do and to do. <laughs> and uh, what did you do that you shouldn't have done, and what and how was the actual experience once you got out there and played? Um, yeah, yeah, all week. Um, Everyone was saying, when you get out there, just, just relax and don't try and do too many things at once because you'll get too tired and it'll take a while for you to recover. And I was thinking, yeah, I'll do that, but it's, um, I don't know, adrenaline must have just kicked in because as soon as I got out there, I just I think I'd done two runs in the first set. I was out there and then, you know, trying to make a million tackles after that. So <laughs> I was, uh, I, was uh, I was behind the ruck struggling for a few tackles after that. <laughs> No, that's really funny because we told him just to take it easy and relax and he didn't. He went and blew his head off in the first two sets, putting his hand up, I'm gone coach. But anyway, so once it all settled down, the game finished, we obviously won the game, um, huge result for the club. Then to come back to the uh, the Johnny Walker lounge where all the family were and to actually realise what you just achieved and, you know, to sit there with them, celebrate something that you'd dreamt of your whole life, how was that? Yeah, it was, um, it was pretty mean to get a um, win on debut. You know, just just to get a game and then obviously to win and have all my family here. And yeah, it was, it was just a memorable night and I don't think I'll ever forget it. Two last questions. One is, what's the best thing about the New Zealand Warriors that you found? Everybody just made it easy, just felt like I was part of the team when I first came here and I just felt like I belonged. And then the last one, the Vodafone One Tribe and all of our supporters out there, what's the greatest thing about them, particularly when you're here at Mount Smart Stadium, what do you get most excited about when you run out on the field with, you know, obviously a big crowd? Yeah, it's, um, we had a pretty decent crowd in my um, first grade debut, but when I've been playing for the under-20s, a, a, lot, a lot of people um, have been turning out for games when we get nice days, and I think the majority of them would be the, the One Tribe members, the, the, the real loyal fans. But it's, um, yeah, it's definitely good to have that support from all the, all, all the One Tribe um, members, and uh, hopefully they can just keep showing up to our games. Thank you. That's Russell Packer for this week. Uh, one of our young up-and-coming stars. He'll uh, see plenty, plenty more of him.